now they'll try and break. Cerner moves it forward, now on the left side, snapshot deflects off the leg of David Phillips. O'Connor is there, Betridge will chase up towards the blue line. Dealt with back there by Michal. Tchaikovsky, but then one by Betridge, he's in, one on O, Betridge! Off his stick, didn't get the shot away. What a moment that was for young Oli Betridge. He was home free, but somehow the puck just got lost. Back come the Slovaks, sticked away by Evan Mosey. What a chance, Matthew Myers. Yeah, what a great chance, a minute into the game. Uh, really disappointing there, unfortunately, Oli. He's doing the right thing, he, he, he wants to move it quickly and get a quick shot off, and as you see there, the puck just rolls away from him as he uh, makes one stick handle. Yeah. Jonathan Phillips, the captain, are out there. Face off one, though, by the home side. Boots that won that one back, and now in comes Slovakia down the right wing side. GB back there with Billingsley. Boots plays it back to the top, snapshot, and a goal. Sakera, the captain. It ricocheted off the inside of the post. Bounds moved across with the puck and just couldn't quite get his toe back to keep it away. And Slovakia have the lead and this place is on its feet. Two minutes and four seconds in, it's GB Nail Slovakia one. Yeah, we're just going to see the replay here. Mills does a good job breaking it up, but they got the support layer and uh, Actually, Jonathan Phillips blocks the shot and deflects it straight in his own net, uh, which is uh, disappointing there. I mean, like this, it turns his skate and it hits his leg and bounces moving to his right and it goes off the left post and in. It's, uh, that's a shame to give up that goal three minutes in, two minutes in. So tough to play from behind. And this is a warm old building tonight as well, so you suspect that Third game of the day, the ice is not going to be as good later in the game. So to play with a lead is always useful. Bounds will play it around. Panic can't hold on the board. Cernak will play it to the inside. Out to Tar. Walks towards the net round Lee. Good poke check. Rebound goal. 2 0. And that's the danger with this Slovakian side. They have so much offensive talent. Huda check went to the net and he forced it home and Great Britain needs a, a big big pushback shift now 2.25 into this one and all of a sudden they're down by two goals to nil yeah I mean Tatar does a great job getting this from the goal line to the net and uh, Browner makes the initial stop but we're just a uh, Slightly slow to react there, and as you can see, Brown is trying to get his glove on it, but uh, just misses one or two times. But they're so close. Nice bit of play by Boots. Back it goes to Sakira again. Another shot comes in. Rebound. Good stick from Lakovic. Boots on the boards. Battles. Lakovic rubs him out on the glass. Back to the top it goes again. They do this so well. Now GB can block. Can they get away? There's not much energy in the legs of Richardson. He wants oh, to go no. on a line change. It's a bad change That's as well. Tatar comes in. Tatar. Knocks his man into the net. It was Ben Bounds that fell. The puck didn't follow him, though. And now an offside has been whistled. That's a little, oh, no, it hasn't been whistled. It's delayed offside. The whistles were coming from the fans. Here is Farmer. Gets it towards Hammond. Hammond goes back to the, uh, the shooting chance of Davy Phillips. And that's held into the body by the netminder, Dennis Godler. Yeah, we see here the, the bad change again. Unfortunately, the boys were gassed and they wanted to get off, but the puck didn't get down 200, and uh, Tatar picks it up in the neutral zone and makes a good play to the net. I, I'm not sure who. This is a great stick by Lacko there, and that's what we need is uh, we need to get back to the front of the net and uh, box out and have good sticks. Slovakia 2 is the scoreline. We're seven and a half minutes into this one, but GB have come back into it after getting shell-shocked in the opening two minutes of this game. Pellini will send into the zone. He needs a little bit of help. Billingsley overskates the puck, but good defensive work coming from Liam Kirk. Shields has taken a penalty, though. Beat with the trip, tip. Yeah, he, he just gets his uh, stick caught under the blade of the, the skate of the um, Slovakian, and he goes down. Now, Slovakia trying to attack the net. They come with a bit of speed here. Nagy, so experienced. 
Radislav Nagy, captain now here in Kashica, but he played in North America for much of his career. Another shot from the blue line and a goal on the power play. Kiss the post on the way in. Martin Marincin spent time with Toronto in the NHL this season. And the power play pays once again. They're leading GB by three goals to nil. I'd like to just see uh, what happens here. Um, no, I think this is a good screen in front there. I can't see which guy's in front, but that's a good one, T. Just over the pad, 56 in front, I think that's Dano. Um, and, uh, you know, Bouncer can't keep that one out of the net. But 3-0 uh, here, nine minutes in. And we've had a goaltending change here. What do you think this is all about? Funny, funny time to do it. I'm still on the bench. I, I think uh, preserving the... Uh, well, it doesn't look like Bouncer's on the bench. So... I hope that he's not uh, hurt. I would I would say it's about managing Bouncy's energy levels here. Um. Just wide wraparound, chance rebound again, and GB doing enough. Good save by Whistle on the wraparound. Got that left pad down, and his legs were strong to kick it away. Yeah, I mean, look at this. We, Whist comes into the net 17 minutes in, and does a good job going post to post there and then there's a second opportunity which he managed to kick away and Dal fires it down for Ison which at this stage we'll take. There's a lot of pressure on there. Dow just tap 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 with his stick. GB nearly do create an interception and they do now as they create that turnover. Good play and then uh, themselves in a bit of a mess there with Hammond. Here is Ferrara to Hammond. Dowd Across the blue line, offensive zone, space to work in. That was a lovely pass. Ferrara just not able to pick it up in his skates. Ball with his stick now. Richardson again, put towards net. That was a dribbler. Second chance, Hammond scores! GB have life! And it was a little nothing shot from Richardson. Rebound popped out. And there was Hammond with his third of the tournament. And Great Britain are on the board. And this arena is silenced. It's GB1. Slovakia three. This is what I'm talking about, though, Seth. Like, like you say, it's not, a, you know, a great shot by Richardson. Not to take anything away from Richie, but puck to the neck causes a bit of confusion. Little deflection. Goaltender can't uh, control it. Hammy gets it, puts it through the wickets, and um, we need. I like I say, it's easier said than done, but uh, we need more pucks to the net, whether it's uh, a hard clapper or just a little, uh, little wrist shot. And as you look down on the lineup, well, we've got the ice sign. Oh no! GB give this one away off the face-off. Oh, whistle makes a stop. What a chance that was! God, we've got to see the replay on this one. What happened there, Hordacek? What a pass that was from the defenseman. It was Cernak, and Hordacek was uh, almost a set play. Went through his legs, and whistle just took away that lane. Uh, was that a set play, do you think? 100% from... a set play. Tries to find Sikiera. Lake might get there, goes in hard on his man, takes a possession of the puck. They want a penalty. Betridge, he tries to put it through. Davies, back to the blue line, it goes again. Now O'Connor winds up just wide. Maybe deflected. Phillips again puts this one to the net. The netminder is he's catching butterflies out there at the moment. He's nowhere near that puck, and GB are camped in the zone right now. This is better. Ben Davies. Pushes it round for Betridge, does well to keep possession. Now snaps it in on goal, good save. Godler. This is much better from the boys. Back it goes up the middle, here's Ben O'Connor, turns onto his forehand side, tries to snap it, goes off the leg of the defence, but Lake will collect again, GB. Come out of the zone, then Lake puts himself offside. <laughs> ben Bounds is, uh, in fact it's not, it's Murdy, isn't it? Yeah, Murdy's coming to the bench here, uh, you've got to have a a goaltender on the bench, a second goaltender uh, on the bench. So um, this is. I'm happy to see Murds out there. He's smiling. That's great for him. So uh, first cap. First cap for him. So that's his first cap. He's, that's he, crazy. He's been with the with the team for many years now, and I'm very surprised to hear that's his first cap. But congratulations to him and uh, best of luck for him. Has a little hack and whack. Back it goes to Marinchin on the blue line. 
stick is caught up with Lee. Nothing called there. That could have easily been a hold in the stick call. Neither referee saw it as being that. Good job, Steve. Strong again on the boards. Marachine holds on the blue line. This is danger. Tatar drops this one off. The shot deflated out in front again. Took a bit off that one, trying to get the deflection. Farmer tracks across the blue line. Another shot goes in all the way through. A fourth goal for the Slovaks. Kajkowski had a man out in front. And Whistle beats him for the first time tonight. I'm not sure if that's a tip in front from uh, Tatar. I think Wiss, uh, I think Wiss thought there was going to be a deviation in front and it, and it didn't come and then it beat him to the far post. Now GB will bring it back the other way. It's with O'Connor, tries to feed it to the middle. Rebound pops out again. There is Dowd on his feet trying to keep it moving. Did a good job there, Robert Dowd on the boards. And then Richardson steps in the puck. Hits a funny edge there. Ferrara had to go the other way. And now he breaks into the zone. Shooting chance for Ferrara. Can he snap this? He does. Good shot and a good save. This, this place is shaking right now. They are bouncing all over the place. Davies maybe can help them sit down. Here is Shields driving hard to the net with Kirk. Off the bench, Kirk stops, spins, turns, gets it back to the blue line. Quick shot goes wide of the target. Phillips will pinch in. That's a he, great, great pinch by David there. Now here's O'Connor pinching on the other side. Two defensemen passing it all the way around the backboards to one another. O'Connor has it, hard pass, straight to panic though. And uh, easily cleared away when GB had some good zone time there. I think it's just not quite gone to plan, really. That might have been too many men there. I think it probably was as they break it again. Goal! Slovakia straight off the bench. Marianne Studenich with the snapshot. He went low stick side all along the ice. Kissed the post on the way in like many of the shots tonight. And it's 5-1 in favour of the hosts. Yeah, I think that may well have been too many when I know. Uh, we can see here they got. Uh, I don't know if we're going to save in this replay. Anyway, Ben tries to gap up and uh, gets beat wide, and I think he goes through the wickets there on uh, whistle. Back it goes to O'Connor on the blue line. Phillips again, this time down low to Hammond. Hammond comes in front, nearly a chance. Lewis, second chance, coming all the way back was Phillips on his backhand side, trying to one-time it. And now we got a two-on-one with with a forward out there. Back it goes again, snapped over the top, and Whistle has to be alive to that. And GB will look to move this one away with Jonathan Phillips. Immediately pressured because the puck just wouldn't get on his stick there. He's spinning around in circles. Joey Lewis comes to help him out. And GB, that's a nice pass from Lewis, that's actually. Good outlet pass using the weak side demon there. Oh. Phillips pumps it up the middle. Lewis into the offensive zone. Feeds it Lakovic. Hi. Off the deflected stick. Here is Hammond. Hammond walks towards the circle. There isn't much space. Farmer's the man in front. Back it goes to O'Connor, but it was in his skate here. Pellini is on the right side. He's the left shot. Now looking for the one-timer. Hammond fakes it. Hammond sneaks in, sneaks in. Pellini with a shot. Hits the man out in front. It's going to be cleared away, and it's a one-on-one -on -one clear. What presence of mind. Two-on-one. -on -one breaking. Liska with it. Snaps it in on goal. Rebound. Short-handed goal. That was unbelievable from the Slovaks. They were hemmed in, GB with the chance, and the moment they won back possession, they were gone. And that second guy worked so hard to make the two-on-one, and he was absolutely rewarded. He picks up the rebound and finishes it off, and they now lead by six goals to one. Breaks towards the inside, and then nearly stolen by Mosey, but a shooting chance side of the net. Nagy robbed! Puck still alive in there. What a save by Whistle. Now you maybe just fanned on it a little, but huge play, huge stop by Whistle. Yeah, great play by Whistle. He doesn't half compete. Um, you can see here he gets across quick and uh, gets the leg down to. Richie does a good job there boxing out, and Jonna gets away, takes the stick of uh, I think that was Dano. Too difficult for him to handle now. Lake. Lake with a bit of speed, zone, yeah. Hammond, Lake and Dowd out there, drop pass, here is a chance, Dowd driving the net, second chance, backhand oh. shot from Hammond. Yeah, here's the replay of the Hammond uh, opportunity, he gets it back here. 
just on the heel of his stick, wasn't it? Couldn't quite get the uh, elevation then. I think he protects the puck well here and then can't quite get into the scoring position that he needs it. The pass That's was to shame. the right side, couldn't release Betridge. Now another chance, Bondra with a red shift in this game. Not played very much, Bondra. Oh, no! And then Koch sends it, Bondra tips it home. His dad was part of the Slovakian team that played in Sheffield in the Olympic qualifiers all those years ago. And now the Sun has a goal against GB. And it's a seventh for Slovakia, who leads 7-1. Over the line, here's Christoph, he knows time sticking down, it's put towards the net. Well played by Leighton to get back there. And that will do it. Game comes to an end. Eight and a half thousand people watching this one. They're happy, the majority. Everybody is standing. As Slovakia beats Great Britain by seven goals to one. Well, Jackson, a lot of ice time there this evening. You made some really great saves. How did you find it? Oh, good. I mean, always it's uh, pretty tough coming in against uh, you know guys of that caliber. But it was nice to get back in the net, and uh, as time went on, I sort of feel more comfortable and felt better uh, as it went on. There's a couple of pad saves, especially one from close range. I think off the top of my head in the third period. Did you feel good out there? I started to feel good. I think at the second, uh, you know, I kind of felt down a little bit. I thought I uh, let in some goals I should have. But I thought after that, it kind of settled in, uh, made some kind of routine saves, and started feeling the puck a little bit more. I felt better. Just as a whole, as the World Champions experience, this is your second, obviously, outing on the ice. How's it been as a whole? It's been awesome. I mean, being able to represent your country is really special, and uh, especially this, playing against this caliber of players, NHL players out here, it's pretty cool to see. Now, what about the team? Really, we knew it would be building to the final day against France. It's looking that way. Have you seen enough in the locker room to think that GB have enough to stay up? Oh, absolutely. I thought uh, as that game went on, I thought we got even better. Um, I think the scoring doesn't really represent the way we played out there as a team. It's uh, you know about the peak end is what Peter Russell is saying, and uh, that's what we're building up for. We're looking forward to that game. How great has it been to to run so many teams pretty close, USA in particular, 6-3, to see a side ranked 22nd in the world playing some of the top 10 nations. It's been fantastic, hasn't it? Oh, yeah, definitely. It's been awesome. I mean, I think when you play uh, guys of that caliber, you start to raise your game, and it'd be great to be able to stay up and uh, continue playing those guys. I think it'll just make every one of us on the team a better player. Well, Adam, again, it's a defeat, but you know, you look at the way the guys finished, they finished strong. You, you must take plenty of optimism from how you ended that game. Yeah, I think uh, you know, it's not easy against these teams. You know, there's uh, a much different level of speed that, that we're facing, and, and the pace of the game is extremely high. It's tough to get, uh, it's tough to get good looks, and uh, I think that was one of the positives that we took out of today is we ended up getting a, a bit more offensive looks that, than we have had in the last few games. So... Um, it's something we can build on. Um, you know, other than that, uh, we just talked about in the room that uh, you know these games were in preparation really for the biggest game of the tournament for us, which is on Monday. And um, you know, we want everybody to bring their best, and that's us included. It starts with us. Uh, we have to be well prepared and, and make sure that the guys are well prepared for France. How big a thing would it be if these guys won that final game and stayed up? It would. It's unthinkable, really, to rank 22nd in the world. I guess it would be huge. Yeah, it would be massive. I think Pete was saying in there it uh, would only be the second time in, in, in 10 years that someone stayed up. So, obviously, uh, it would be a, a real special moment. And, um, you know, my short time with this club last summer uh, in Budapest there with 15 seconds left was a real special moment. And, uh, and we'd love to have another one of those. And, uh, you know, if we can come up with a win uh, on Monday, uh, it would obviously be... Uh, mean the world to this organization and, and this club and, and, uh, and these guys in that dressing room, they deserve it. Uh, you know, they've remained uh, positive throughout this and it's tough uh, when you're chasing games and chasing, uh, you know, some of the top nations in, in the world uh, at ice hockey and chasing them around. It's frustrating for everybody involved. Um, but they've stuck with it and uh, you know battled hard. There's a lot of guys that are fatigued and, and hurting from blocking shots and uh, battling for each other. So we need to take those positives into Monday and, and make sure that everybody's at their best. And if everybody has their best game, um, then we take our chance to win. We get them, and uh, you know that's what we're looking for. Uh, we want to leave it all in the ice on Monday.